Doing the right thing in education seems to act like a panacea, a simple solution to meet the challenges of the future. Our next guest, the luminary which we have today, Shri Yuvraj Malik, he is the Director of National Book Trust India under the Department of Higher Education, Ministry of Education, Government of India. Sir has joined National Book Trust India on deputation from the Indian Army. She has, uh, he has served with the Ministry of Defence, Ministry of Home Affairs, Raj Bhavan, Jammu and Kashmir, United Nations Mission in Africa and several operational areas in administrative and operational assignment. He has also been the Chairman of Commission for Scientific and Technical Technology, CSTT, under the Ministry of Education. As a Director of National Book Trust, Sri Malik has ensured publication of bilingual books for school children in compliance to the NEP 2020 within 30 days of the launch of the policy by the government. Under Sri Malik's guidance, National Book Trust India has been working with re renewed efforts towards encouraging children to take up reading as a habit. Sir is a voracious reader and is passionate about the world of books and education related issues. May we request, sir, for the inaugural address. Over to you, sir. Good morning, respected chief guests, Shri Bivya Subramaniam ji, who is a very renowned bureaucrat, administrator, scholar, and what a orator you have seen it. All the esteemed dignitaries on the dais, Dr. Acharya, former chairpersons, members of the NPSC, teachers, principals, and friends. It's always a challenge to speak when somebody like Sir, who is a phenomenal orator, has spoken with such a vast experience of around four decades behind him. And then you have to catch up with him. It's a difficult attempt, but I think I should take it. That's what uh, our learning te teaches us. I congratulate NPSC for a wonderful journey for uh, 50 years of uh, contribution for nation building. I call it nation building for two reasons. I go back around 326 BC when Alexander was on Jhelum River and a small 5 feet 4 inches uh, Brahmin teacher standing in the court of Ghananandan saying and pleading him to save the nation from the attack from the invaders. I don't know how many of us remember what was the last line that he spoke in the court when he was humiliated. If not, I will mention that line and that we should remember it throughout life because we are from the community of nation building. You are the unsung heroes of the society who need to be acknowledged and this acknowledgement is one line which Chanakya spoke in the last when he was exiting from the court challenging Gananand who could have defended the nation against the invader. He said, Shikshak sadharan nahi hota. Teacher is not an ordinary breed. Uske garb mein pralay aur nirman dono palti hai. This is what resolution he had as a teacher. And that is the resolution that every teacher has when he pick up this profession because this is the world most noble profession. Your, every profession give its result then and there. A doctor will treat then and there. A policeman will respond then and there. Army men will kill, shoot then and there on the border. But a teacher takes minimum 15, 20 years to invest to see the outcome. That is the kind of patience and contribution that our teacher community make. Why I'm saying it? Beyond teacher, there's one more layer to it, which is the center of gravity. If you understand the complete ecosystem, talking about statistic, understand what we are and where we stand. We have 135, 40 crore people, out of which 33 to 35 crore are only student. 27, 28 crore only school students, 1250 universities, 500 plus IIT, IIM and NITs, 46,000 colleges and we have an enrollment ratio of 27%. Think 2030 when we are targeting 50% enrollment, how many students are going to be enrolled and what kind of capacity we need as a nation? Are we ready for it? That is food for thought which we all of us have think because we are not just teachers, we are academic leaders also. Leadership comes with this role when we talk about the theme designing human-centric education for a sustainable world. This human-centric world can be fit in everything in life. Human-centric leadership, 
human centric innovation human centric technology human centric design human centric value system human centric innovation whatever you do it then the answer to all the queries happens automatically i just take back again in uh, 1893 in chicago swami vivekananda gave one of the famous speech i don't know how many have actually read the speech it's just one page for five minute speech but the first word was my brothers and sisters of america and there was a clap for two and a half minute standing ovation was this something extraordinary please tell me honestly i don't think it was not extraordinary statement but it was an extraordinary narrative narrative of the nation of 5000 old civilization because we take the whole world as brother and sisters of the world we take the world as family and that's where we call vasudev kutumbakam that's what we call sarve bhavantu niramaya sarve bhavantu sukhina one world one future the theme speaks loud about india's knowledge system and value system that's where we were called as vishguru hum vishguru isliye nahi the ki humne badi badi imarate banayi thi aur bade bade uh, structures khade kiye the we were vishguru because of that indian knowledge system and indian value system but unfortunately we lost it somewhere in the process it's time to reclaim it and restore it that's how today when we have national education policy 2020 it is not just an education policy this is world biggest education reform it has not come after 34 years it has come after 200 years after mekale we have to understand we are in a process in this process you are the people who are going to decide the fate of the nation tell me a single person amongst you who can say that there is no role of two things in life one is book and second is a teacher when my child comes home and i have to convince him with something if he has to choose the narrative of two people i'm 100% sure he will choose the narrative of his class teacher not mine that is the power that is the power you have with you that is the faith with you have and that's where you have to create leadership in the person where he is going to choose and that's for this nep gives you the wings to fly you give a fish to a child you just feed him for a moment in a day teach him how to fish you feed him for the life that is the kind of flexibility this education policy is giving and that's how the world is looking up why the world is getting you know disturbed because india is rising india matters now india is going to matter next few decades next 25 years are very critical first we have to believe in ourselves that we can do it another important thing which i think i i must mention it from day one when we are born we are told to respect nature because it's a debate of sustainability when we talk of sustainability it's not only the sustainability in terms of climate it's climate sustainability the environment sustainability it is an sustainability of economy also environment sustainability economic sustainability and more important the social sustainability the cultural sustainability which is the cause of clash of civilization today the world is clashing all Uh, hundreds and thousands of war are going on in the country and conflicts going go and see what's happening in entire africa see what's happening in europe everywhere why this because the civilizations are clashing because sustainability in terms of culture and social values is not there again the world is looking up to us what we say how we think how we behave when the world was in crisis people were thinking the world's problem is just world's problem not my problem so that kind of thought process can we say it after covid if covid is happening in part of the world you can say that it is not my problem the world was looking up to us how india will respond india responded robustly as a nation but at the same time we gave a new narrative to the world that world is one family through vaccine maitri have we taught this thing to our students have we done the case study on this this is the kind of value system we have to ingrain into our education system that's where we have to say human centric development I take a small story, very simple story. Olympic, आपने देखा होगा marathon race में last के 200-300 meter सबसे critical होते हैं. उसी में 15-20 runner निकल के आते हैं. So when the Olympic race was happening, the first runner was about to finish 20 meter short of it. He lost senses. That senses means he was not dying, but he could not see where is the sense of direction. It happens after dehydration. 40 km के बाद instead of finishing the line, he took a left leaning after falling down and started crawling literally instead of finishing the Uh, barrier. The other guy was 300 meter behind. He just came. He saw what's it? 
nothing has been touched, line has not been crossed, the guy was 20 meter, he saw 10 meter left of the main road that the guy is lying down and crawling to finish it off. He goes, he picks him up, get him hold, finish the 20 meter, make him win the race and he gets the gold medal, he gets the silver medal. After that, the entire audience is you know, stunned, what is this? There's an interview, they ask, what have you done? He says, what I have done? Nothing. You could have been a world champion. The runner-up athlete says, I am still a world champion. But media was very curious. Why have you done it? He said, why not? No, we want an answer. He says three lines, you must remember. First, what could I have thought of myself? That boy could have won in 20 meters like anything. I could have never got the gap filled up. How, what could I have thought of myself? What my mother would have thought of me? And in the end he says, what my country would have thought of me? This is human-centric values. This is human-centric education. That is what we have to teach our people. That's what when we say vaccine maitri, when the history will be written, people will write, there was a nation which stood with its own problem and also stood for the people who were in need. Vaccine maitri, from that we have graduated to Arogya Maitri. So now our policy has gone global. We take everybody along, holistic growth. That's what we have to teach a child, what Sir has told, holistic growth, holistic learning. Another important point which I really want to make it, you people are like uh, teachers. You have been contributing with your huge experience, capacity building, uh, you know, advisory. I'm sure uh, I've seen your contribution in terms of when NEP was being worked out, the kind of suggestions we received. A lot many people in the front row I see were part of this complete uh, consultancy, advisory, and uh, you know, a lot of uh, inputs have come. Please understand it. The center of gravity of this complete process of human-centric uh, education and sustainability is child, the student. The second orbit is teacher, your fraternity. The third orbit is the academic leadership, which goes from the direct job of uh, teaching to creating a uh, leadership module for teaching. And the fourth is like we, in the periphery, the policy maker and the policy implementation. Understand, no policy is good or bad, it is how you implement it. It's one of the finest policy, let me tell you, it's so comprehensive, Indian in values, international in total outlook, interactive in approach, very, very innovative in its features, and very impactful in its implementation. But who will own it up? We have to own it up. It is our policy. It is not a government policy. Please understand. Because this is going to decide the future of our child. You are in a very sensitive profession, a profession which shapes the mind of a person today. He will become a professional tomorrow and a leader day after. So please understand what kind of programming you are giving. In this complete process, one more thing we have to understand. This NEP education policy, I'm talking about because this is the first time ever. We are not talking that we have to create doctor and engineers. We are going to create citizens. Citizen first. What kind of citizen? Global citizens. What is global citizen? Have you ever thought of it? We must think, we must tell our student, Tomorrow, this is the word, tell who is a global citizen. Let him think what is his role for the world, for the uh, planet Earth. Then only we can talk about sustainability debate. Debate is incomplete if we don't understand what is our role on this Earth. Hamare yaan paani ki puja hoti hai. Jal ki, surya devta ki, podho ki, ped ki, mitti ki. Hum usko maathe pe lagate hai. Pair jameen pe rakhne se pehle usko chute hai. We have been told for ages and ages to respect nature, but this nature and culture conflict we never understood in this era. That's where the problem has started. Man is on continuous conflict with man with man, man with nature, man with animal, man with culture. It's a fight of ethics and ethanol. Think over it. It's a fight of value and evaluation. And we talk about sustainability. So we have to do this ingraining from the grassroots because they are the people, what Sir told, after 30 years, they will decide the future of the country and the world. What we teach them today will matter tomorrow. We must understand and make our generation clear that we have not borrowed this earth from our predecessors. We have borrowed it from the next generation. We have to hand over. If we don't think of the 
to do it today let me tell you they will tell us after ages and we will not have any contribution in nation building another important aspect which we talk about you know climate crisis debt crisis climate justice then ethnical cyber crimes digital detox there was an era 20 years back ki o level a level course training it cyber lot of things happening now we are talking about what we want digital detox cyber de addiction programs so the problem is we lost one thing that is balance we have to find that balance from school itself that's why we say we have to be innovative in our education vice versa also we have to integrate innovation in education and education innovation both that's what this thinking lab and sir has told very elaboratively i don't want to get into it but we have to think over it when we talk about this justice we should not talk about equality i'm not uh, advocate of uh, equality i'm advocate of equity because when we talk of a country as a holistic nation we have to create an ecosystem through our learning so that we create a generation which can take everybody along irrespective of all limitations i don't want to count on those limitations which we have what vivekananda said in one of the chapters which is in nep also that role of education is not uh, literacy it is man making if you keep polishing outside and there is nothing inside nothing will happen we have to move from man making towards character building from character building to society building and from society building to nation building that is the whole journey he has told so the first step is man making and that you are doing because you are teaching them from the grassroots and everything what they have to choose how they have to behave how they have to think in this learning process just four words four cues please understand we should work on a child in early age on iq that is the requirement because first six years 85% of grooming is iq the moment he start growing and growing we need eq that matters in leadership module when we have iq and eq now we will realize with the advent of technology tq technical questions after technical question we are going to graduate to spirituality question if we have a balance of it we are going to create a world class leader so when we have a learning program we design pedagogy we design books we design content whatever we do we must learn that we have to maintain a balance because human values is the core of our existence in the absence of human values we forget mutual coexistence we forget interdependence and that's how there's a imbalance and that imbalance has told us in mesopotamia and indus valley how civilizations break down when they lose balance we have to regain it get in control of it another thing which sir told is i think when i talk about human uh, centric approach is most important thing a monster no one can stop the idea whose time has come and the idea is ai today you don't have to learn computers computer will tell you what it can do for you you should just be able to speak you don't have to learn technology coding anything no software required none just able to speak a computer will do it for you so are we going to see the bright side of it as a opportunity or the threat side of it i think the beauty is in the center of it balance of both you may can make any size of nuclear bomb but end of the day it will be a human being who will put trigger to it so the control will always be in human being and that human being should be embodied with global values global skills global knowledge and global responsibility you cannot refrain in this world of you know connectivity that i will stay isolated and sustain in this world i have spoken uh, just two lines before i i share because i am from the book of uh, uh, world of book where we deal with books write books two things uh, i want to share with all these people is please uh, have a case study in your school or college see the difference between a child who reads a book and who doesn't read a book different from textbook you'll find it a difference in perception have you ever thought bhagat singh rajguru sukhdev tino ne same bahaduri dikhai tino ne ka shorya barabar tha tino ki act same thi lekin bhagat singh legend kyon bane because of power of thinking he has a very famous quote i am a human being and anything that bothers humanity bothers me and that's what you are telling today as a human being if nothing bothers you 
there is a problem because you are defying nature and bhagat singh was being hanged one day before the last wish he was told to pray to your god he said i am not a coward i never prayed to god in my life why why should i feel coward today if i have to do i would love to finish the book i am reading he wanted to finish the last chapter of his book that gave him power of thinking that power of thinking gave him ideas and views and opinions and that opinion made him what he is today a thinking man with the unparalleled bravery so the additional feature is thinking cap this books give you the entire world it takes you to different journey a book is not a 300 pages summary of a person no it's a 60 75 years of experience today when obama retires what he wants to become a teacher he want to write a book please understand the power of book initiate your child to a book and today 56 86 90 inch tv in uh, your uh, drawing room should not be a status symbol holding iphone should not be a status symbol holding a book in your hand should be a status symbol that is the power we have to give to our student because that is more powerful one book can change your ideas it can change your life where is that book have we given that when go, when we go to class please as teachers principal please ensure that your uh, there is a culture to carry a book like iphone in your or some uh, galaxy phone things will change last yesterday i was in oxford trust me i counted sitting in a cafe how many children are passing and how many are carrying book in their hand 95% we organize a book fair i was sitting at the counter with the security man and counting 100 people how many are carrying book after from the book fair 43% i counted myself because that gives understanding where society is going this is too low to make a society that will lead the world दुनिया हमारी तरफ देख रही है और हम अपनी तरफ देख नहीं रहे वी हैव द बेस्ट ह्यूमन रिसोर्स इन द वर्ल्ड 140 करोड़ लोग अपॉर्चुनिटी हैं वर्ल्ड का सबसे बड़ा रिसोर्स पूल हमारे पास है सबसे बड़ा टैलेंट हमारे पास है बट प्रॉब्लम इज आर अटेंशन स्पेन हैज रिड्यूस फ्रॉम टू मिनट टेन सेकेंड्स टू थर्टी वन सेकेंड दैट्स अ चैलेंज आन अभद्रा कृतव यंतु विश्वता है let the beautiful ideas come from wherever they come in the world keep your child in center of it and treat a child as a unique identity don't compare two child and two things you can do when i went to all these places what i found different i want to share that last experience with you when your child comes to you with a toffee chocolate cake gift for a birthday send him back and write in a diary when you come back come back with a book with your name date of birth and today and gift it to the library because after 30 40 year when he will become a dm sp collector commissioner bureaucrat technocrat ceo of a company and he'll come back he will find that he is part of the history that is the history i show in uh, oxford these people they used to read book and give so i found 31 libraries there within 1 kilometer so yeah the child when they come to birth, see 100 students you have 1000 students you have 1000 book every year to your library see the kind of knowledge survey you are going to create and that child will pick up that book some day and come back and say i am part of this history today these are you know something very very special you have to connect your child with the learning ecosystem and tell him the importance of human values because end of the day however growth we make we have to understand the human values will always prevail the entire mahabharat was fought only around values gita is written all around about values all our epic scriptures all about values that's what the world is looking up to us for spirituality the value system the human value system just one one small question when we thought of vaccine maitri why have you thought why we thought of it somebody would have taught a person in childhood who was narend who became a prime minister later on ki that we have to share with the world that is the kind of value system somebody would have given to the honorable prime minister so he has implemented when he got a chance to deliver to it similarly the kind of value you will give today it will emerge as a big tree and that tree has to give fruits or not that you have to decide so ladies and gentlemen without taking much of time i will not uh, uh, delete more i will just say please understand today education is not local it's global it's totally global content is the key data is the new currency and most importantly idea is the new engine 
so you want double engine triple engine four engine or a failed engine choice is yours please take a book gift a book make a bookshelf status symbol holding a book in your hand and please find that book that can change your life life of your students life of your family thank you so much for bearing uh, my talk and uh, i thank organizers for this great opportunity it's a sheer delight for me uh, that i got this opportunity to share uh, my opinion with all the people whom we are the success that we can stand for a student like me at this age it's a privilege to stand this side of the podium and speak to the people who have been instrumental in our grooming so i pay my gratitude to all the teacher fraternity because there is a god into you that decides a young mind how it is to be groomed and bloomed thank you so much jai hind jai bharat